talent. And um, in terms of having it all, I, you know, I think she's an incredibly successful, brilliant woman. The fact that she was able to balance him out on these issues where he has talked about defending Planned Parenthood and being against abortion and these typically liberal women's issues that she sort of is a cushion for, I think we need to investigate those things a little more critically, a little more rigorously, and not be blinded by the fact that she looks like she smells like vanilla. Okay, she looks like she smells like vanilla. I mean, who's objectifying women here? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> oh I my sort of, God. No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually asking a serious I, question. My point I is she's a beautiful, I gorgeous force of nature. I don't care what she looks like nature. or smells like. I mean, what exactly do you oh, disagree honey. with her on specifically? Oh my goodness. I'm saying that she is incredibly welcoming. She is gorgeous and smart. I mean, she's, in a lot of ways, uh, many elements of her persona are... Uh, you know, admirable and something to look up to is what, it, you know, is a joke. Okay, but, but you said that she is sinister, she has sinister complicity yes, in aiding the most... Yes, I absolutely believe that. Okay, I don't, so I'm not sinister, backing down from sinister, that at all. So it's sinister for a daughter to support her father's presidential campaign because you don't like her father? It's sinister for a daughter to capitalize on the power of feminism and uniting women and empowering women while supporting a candidate who is the most anti-woman candidate this country has seen in decades. What, what does that even mean? You're, you're a fucking idiot. To your description of the Trump administration, you wrote this piece in Teen Vogue, which I guess you write for. Oh, which you and guess you I said, write for? Yes. That's not fake news. That's real news. I write for, you guess? <laughs> oh, you guess, Tucker? You guess? That's well, really I patronizing. Haven't, I haven't read Teen Vogue because I'm not a, a Teen Vogue. Well, you reader, have in front of, your producers asked me if I wrote for Teen Vogue. You have my Teen Vogue article in front here, of you. Here's I'm, what my name here's is Warren Duca and I write for Teen wrote. Vogue. Well, got it. Here's what you wrote. Okay. The road ahead is a treacherous one. There are unprecedented amounts of ugliness to untangle from deciding whether our president can be an admitted sexual predator to figuring out how to stop him from threatening the sovereignty of an entire religion. Yes. What does it mean to threaten the sovereignty of religion? What does that even mean? That means an entire agenda, a platform of based on banning Muslims, which is still available on his website. How does that threaten the sovereignty of religion? That's moronic, Lauren. You're a writer. How does that threaten the sovereignty of it? Pardon me well, for taking what, your words does, literally. Sorry, how does what threaten the sovereignty of it? How, Threatening to ban how does Muslims? Any, that threatens the sovereignty of it? Yes, that completely, that, that profiles based on the basis of religion and reduces people to their beliefs and dictates what they can and cannot publicly uh -huh. believe. That doesn't threaten the sovereignty of it. Um, so you, you also right. accused him on Chelsea Handler's show of, quote, committing a form of psychological abuse that makes the victim feel like they're crazy. Does Trump yes. make you feel like you're crazy? That's the impression <laughs> I'm getting. Oh my God, are you calling me crazy? That's adorable. I'm asking That's you, you said so on Chelsea Handler, he's committing psychological abuse on you. Uh, you believe that? On the American people. I believe the American people, Trump supporters, Hillary supporters, Jill Stein and her cousin, are in a victim of Trump's gaslighting. What I mean by that is that he frequently contradicts objective evidence, not that oh. he is abusing me personally. And I think you're smart enough to know that, aren't you, Tucker? I don't know. I just take your words at face value. He's so did you read the entire article? He's psychological... I... I did. I also read Liam Payne is 100% certain One Direction will continue. Adriana yes. Grande rocked the most epic thigh-high boots at yeah. Jingle Bell and so Black team, China and Rob Kardashian. Went through the messiest breakup of 2016. Those are your other pieces. But I'm trying to get to what you're writing about Trump, taking have, a break from the thigh-high boots, and ask, are you okay? Women can love Lord? Ariana Grande and her thigh-high boots <laughs> okay. and still I'm discuss just letting you know that I read you politics. in Teen Vogue I, as of today. And there, those things are not mutually exclusive. You know, it's, it, now that you bring up Teen Vogue, we, we, we treat young women like they don't have a right to a political <laughs> to a conversation. Bunch of, like, dumb and like you can't be, you know, enjoy Kylie Jenner's Instagram and worry about the future God. of this country. And those uh. things are not mutually exclusive. So, you know what? I did write about Ariana Grande and I did write uh -huh. about the abusive, bigoted, those pieces were a little smarter than your piece about threatening the, the sovereignty States. of a whole religion. All right, I got to go. You should stick to the thigh high boots. You're better at that. Lauren, thanks for joining us. You're a Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. A real gangster ass nigga plays his cards right. A real gangster ass nigga never runs his fucking mouth, cause real gangster ass nigga.